Hi YouTube! Um, I'm creating another video. Uh, this is about Yankee Candle stuff, because I work there, plus they have really good fragrances. Um, sorry, I'm reaching for it. Uh, so right now I'm going to be doing one about the tarts. That's the ones that are shaped like cookies, like little circle things. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to show you that you should actually have an accessory for your candles that we recommend is our wick trimmers. Oops, sorry. Nice little wick trimmers. I used to work actually at a casino and a lot of people uh, that were Asian and barely spoke the English language uh, where I used to live, they thought that these were actually for your eyelashes, like eyelash curlers or something. I was like thinking to myself, why would we sell those? But uh, yeah, a wick trimmer, definitely needed for your candles. Uh, first thing I'll show you is we went up to Williamsburg, to one of the factory stores, and me and my husband both made these. I call them dippers, but they're really like tapers. But yeah, um, so I actually created these ones. I'll show you what he actually made when we went up to Williamsburg. So that's one thing, one use of a candle that you can do. Uh, they do a few activities. So this is one of them, is dip your own tapers and create them for different figure shapes. Alright, so now on to the good stuff, the tarts. I love them. Uh, this is our sun and sand. It's a really nice one. It's recommended as fresh that they uh, put it as. I got two of them. Along with our lemon lavender. And it's really good for the kitchen smell, especially if you finish cleaning. I always clean, so um, it's a really good one. Unfortunately, this one's going to be discontinued. Here it is. It's Over the River. It's another fresh one. I'm pretty much going in order of how um, these are based. Uh, here's another good one. It's kind of like Sun and Sam, but different, and it's not as, like, smelling kind of like a uh, sunscreen. This is Beach Walk, and that was my cat back there. As you can see, I have a little stocking up for my husband. I'm working on it. Uh, Pink Sands. It's like a fruit. It reminds me kind of like a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> I keep saying, uh, I can't think. Midsummer's Night. That's like a guy's clone. I really like this one a lot. Okay. I think now we'll go into our fruit. So it seems like I have a lot of fruit. Two of the Bahama Breeze. And that's a nice one, actually, especially if you mix it and cut them in half with our pineapple cilantro, which I also have. See, there's the two. Bahama Breeze. Oops, sorry. Bahama Breeze. I'm infatuated with Yankee Candle. Um, here's the pineapple cilantro I was talking about. It's kind of like, like an actual pine, like pineapple smell, with like another fruit, like a coconut or something like that. I want to say a coconut. Um, it might be also other stuff, but I smell definitely pineapple and coconut. Then we have our mandarin cranberry. Let's pick out that one. It's very cranberryish, but it's not like the. Uh, Cranberry chutney. That's very cranberry-ish. Oh, and the other one that's in the fresh that totally, I guess, slipped my mind, by the way, is our autumn leaves. And that one smells like actual, like, fresh leaves that are picked, like, freshly picked, kind of like apples. Um, cherry lemonade. It's very cherry-ish. It's one of the discontinued, actually. Uh, if you're looking for this one, check in the hutch that might be called classics or treasures and we should have those ones there and then we also have our vanilla with lime it's a nice one we even have one that's called pine cone and lime and that's one of the best ones I'll show you um mango peach salsa that's a good one I like this one this one's my favorite this one's really, really good. I've had a whole bunch more that I've used, though, but I'm going with the ones I actually have not opened yet. Okay, so the ones that we have marked for food in the hutches so far right now are these guys. Um, vanilla cupcake. I'm a, I'm a vanilla girl. I love vanilla. 
so it's vanilla cupcake. Our pumpkin buttercream. Mm, it's a nice one. It smells exactly like true buttercream that's used when you bake uh, for like a cake or something. Whatever actually needs true buttercream, that's what it smells like. And our French vanilla, of course, is smelling like French vanilla, like the coffee and whatnot. I don't know how this is classified of food because it's called Autumn Marie. I smell some cinnamon to it, but at the same time, I think it'd be more kind of like autumn leaves um, and fresh. But it's food, so okay. And pomegranate cider. If you ever had any type of pomegranate cider before, like a drink or uh, the pomegranates, that's what it basically smells like, except for if you were to actually kind of like nuke it with the drink of how warm it is. And um, that's definitely what that pine, uh, the pomegranate cider smells like. So now on to our festival ones. I will save our new ones for last, but do the ones that are our return ones for the holiday season. Uh, we have our red berry and cedar. It's a nice one. It has, it's kind of like balsam and cedar. It's a green one. Uh, except for this one has the hint of berry to it. And uh, Christmas with cookie. Christmas cookie. Uh, in our store, I'm surprised we do not have the mistletoe and fig and a few other ones. I was so depressed on that actually. <laughs> Christmas Eve. That's another good one. I like it. It's light, and I actually was looking around my house trying to figure out what smelled so good, and it turned out to be our Christmas Eve. So here is a select a uh, few of the new ones that we have. So this is the red velvet. It smells also like our French line of the French vanilla, vanilla cupcake, the buttercream, and anything you can think of that we have in the stores as vanilla. Uh, like I mentioned before, the red berry cedar. Here's the balsam and cedar. Oh, that's not new this holiday. Sorry. Um, balsam and cedar. That was a new one. Or a good one, not a new one. Sorry. Pine cone and lime. Uh, you can smell the lime at the end, or at least it's very faint, but you can definitely smell some pine cone. It smells like a really good smell for a fake Christmas tree, but I prefer my uh, balsam and cedar. So, and my favorite is the sugared apple. It's a nice light smell. You can definitely smell that sugar to it, the apple, and a hint of vanilla along with a few other um, extracts that's added in to make that fragrance. Um, so that is it for our tarts. I am making another one here soon, and it will be on the candles that I have. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions about any of our tarts that we have or any tarts that I have, Feel free to ask about how they burn or, you know, if fragrance enough for the house. I will be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. Alright, thank you for watching.